Hey guys, um, another quick one. Um, just with a little book review today, actually. Um, this book is called Learning Disability Nurse Survival Guide Common Questions and Answers for the Learning Disability Nurse. Uh, it's quite a new book, actually. I saw um, when I, I'm on the Facebook group for LD, nurse, LD Nurses, I remember sort of the, it coming half the press when it came out and people were quite excited. Um, it was like Christmas in the LD community, basically. Um, so, yeah, it's quite new. Written by Dave Dolby and Chris Nifton. It's from Key Books Publications. Um, it isn't mine. I've rented it from the University Library. Um, but I just wanted to... And I haven't read all of it. I've just sort of used it as a reference for um, stuff like uh, you know my assignment that I'm working on at the moment and stuff. So, But it's really, really good. It's like you know, a mini Bible of LD. Um, quite um, you know, quite social orientated in terms of stuff it covers, but also quite clinical and medical as well. Um, so it's got chapters on the first chapter is called Common Syndromes and Disorders in Learning Disability. So that's, you know that starts with this you know basic definition, and it ter it turns you know tells you about different syndromes like Downs and other ones that I can't even pronounce. Um, or well, some I have heard of though. Um, and it explains a bit more about these. And there's references at the end of each chapter which are really quite um, there's quite a lot. So obviously you can do further reading, um, which is really good. Um, professional legal responsibility. So that's why I've got this book at the moment because it's the ethical stuff. Because I'm working with people uh, that are sectioned under the Mental Health Act at the minute and my placement. So I've been trying to get to grips with all the sections of the Act and different terminology associated with mental health and mental health law. Um, and I've got loads of books for that over there. This is just another one, just just to sort of drill drill all the information into me by reading it in different from different sources. Um, so next chapter after that is uh, mental health. That's quite a long chapter. Obviously, it's mental health in a learning disability context for so those that have dual diagnosis, dual diagnosis, so a learning disability and a mental health problem. Um, so it discusses the prevalence, um, common, common um, mental health issues within LD, um, some case studies, um, terminology, assessments. Um, yeah, bipolar, dementia, depression, personality disorder, schizophrenia, interventions to use. Great. This this is all going to be for my assignment as well. Um, next, I think is physical health. Have I yet physical health? So it's got um, stuff on um, your basic obs that all nurses will use. But so it's got blood pressure, pulse, temperature, and respiration. Um, enteral feeding by PEG, um, percutaneous endoscopic gastronomy tubes or PEG tubes and nasogastric tubes. Um, medication, stomacytes, hygiene, nutrition, obesity, uh, and weight loss. Uh, physical injuries, catheterization, that's going to be interesting. Um, I haven't done, I've not done a lot of that sort of stuff yet, but I will. Uh, pressure ulcers, yeah, I've been learning about pressure ulcers at uni. Um, assessing signs of physical ill health and interventions, wound dressings, aseptic touch technique. Sorry, was that? Aseptic technique, yeah. Capacity, yeah. Uh, long, ter long term conditions. Hypothyroidism, very common in LD, you'll learn that. Uh, hypothyroidism, I guess, as well. Um, diabetes, again, common. Um, cardiovascular disease, common as well, particularly people with Down syndrome. Uh, epilepsy, dementia. Epilepsy has got a huge prevalence in learning disabilities, which I've talked about before, actually. Complex and challenging behaviours. So some terminology, assessing behaviour, interventions to use, medication. Great, that's all good. And then it's uh, management dilemmas and dealing with emergencies. No, it's a really good book. Um, I have, I've, you know, I've only obviously gone through you know, the chapter titles and stuff, but I, re I really recommend it. I will probably will buy it actually when my next bursary comes in. Um, cause it's gonna, I, mean, I think I've renewed it about three times actually, but no one, no one else has preserved it, so it's all mine for the time being. No, but I really like it. Um, that's it, really. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, if uh, you know, if you're unsure about um, whether LD nursing is for you, and you're really torn between LD and another one, or you know, LD nursing and something else entirely, um, perhaps it might be worth looking at this. You know, either renting it from a library, or maybe there's an ebook version on the internet, and then you can read and hopefully feel inspired. Um, I, th- I think it's really, I think it's really good because um, you know not, there's not a lot of LD literature out there. Um, there is, but just not compared to other fields, obviously. Um, so to see a book called a Learn Disability Nurse Survival Guide, um, whereas you know being a general nursing book um, with you know a minimal focus on LD, if any focus at all, um, there are you know there are LD core textbooks. Of course, there are. This is just you know, a mini pocket version. It's really concise. It's got all the information you need, and you know I really recommend it. That's it um, um, for today. I'm. Just about to head to place it myself. I'm gonna have a brilliant day. I can't wait. I'm really enjoying it still. So um, I'm gonna have my dinner first and I head off. But um, I'll see you later, guys. Bye.